Hey everyone, so I'm in Tangier at the Minza Hotel. I'm actually not even staying here. I've just snuck in to go down memory lane a little bit. Um, when I was a kid, we visited the Minza and actually I think we stayed here once or twice um, just after my grandfather had died uh, around the corner at 71 Rue de la Plage. He, as some people will know, was knocked down and killed by a reversing Coca-Cola truck in November 1969. Anyway, back to the Minza. One of the reasons I'm so fascinated by this hotel is because, as I understand it, when Hollywood decided, I think it was MGM, wasn't it? Decided to make Casablanca, the movie, they, they had come up with the idea to make um, the ultimate North African wartime movie because I think there had been a movie called The Shores of Tripoli. And someone in a meeting said, gee, wouldn't it be, you know, smoking great cigars, wouldn't it be great to have Casablanca on the screen? And so, as I understand it, they sent a team of writers to Casablanca, or they tried to, but they couldn't get to Casablanca because of, you know, the Vichy government and all of that. Pardon. So they sent them to Tangier instead, or something happened, I don't know, like, Maybe they got on the wrong flight. So these Hollywood writers, as I keep saying, as I understand it, because it's, it's not locked in in total, um, total fact. I think it's, it's mixed in with fiction. They ended up here at the Minza. And in particular, they ended up at the bar of the Minza, which is here. And if you look in there, and it's really hard to see, so apologies, it's gonna go really dark now. It's this kind of Aladdin's cave, if I can mix metaphors, an Aladdin's cave of a bar, where I can imagine um, the, uh, the writers drowning their sorrows and wishing they were back in Hollywood rather than war-torn North Africa. But this, right here, the bar at the Minza Hotel, is the prototype for Rick's Cafe American. And just staring in through the window, and sadly it's locked at the moment, just gives you a sense that yes, this is Rick's Cafe. This is how Rick's Cafe would have felt. You can, I, it's giving me shivers just thinking about it, that there would have been, you know, cigar smoke and cigarette smoke and noise and um, waiters, like even like the waiter behind me here in fezes and Sam at the piano and just wonderful rumpus. Something that always amuses me here is they have um, uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the walls, they've got pictures of all the Hollywood stars. Here's Ralph Fiennes um, hanging out here and who else do we recognize? Excuse me. Um, Omar Sharif. Timothy Dalton in, in brackets, James Bond, and even others like Calvin Klein. But for me, the greatest thing about the Minza is the fact that if the story is true, and even if it isn't true, that this is, um, this is the seed of all that wonder that took place in Rick's Cafe American.